What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I got a question for y'all. Am I the only one who loves fit fashion but literally neglects sneakers? This goes for all areas of fashion. Like shoes and I, it's really hit or miss. I don't really have many at all. In fact, my dad has more shoes than I do. Seeing as it's really healthy to get new shoes, especially if you wear the same ones like myself over and over again, it's just really, you need that, that support, that new kind of support to keep your foot health on point. So I went on to Amazon, you know how I roll, girl, and I picked up a few pairs, some really nice brands, brands that I personally love, um, Adidas, some Nike, and Fila, actually. I've never tried Fila, but it's like the thing now, so I figure why not. <laughs> so I'm gonna come at you with a little mini haul and kind of share my thoughts on what I think about these sneakers, what they're best for, what kind of function workouts they're good for, and um, if it's worth the money. Let's see about this, shall we? But first guys, if you have not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. And also follow me on the gram for all things fitness. Your girl posts there every day. <laughs> so let's do this. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Girl, I'm so weird with shoes. I'm mad picky. Like I feel like everything's uncomfortable. So if I'm a little picky during this haul, you know why, all right, girl? I'm saying it right now. I'm a picky bee. <laughs> okay, so. You already know, girl, from all my other videos that I've been really loving Adidas lately. So I got a couple items from them. See how, how they hold up because I have a pair of sneakers right now that I'm obsessed with. Again, guys, you can get all these sneakers from Amazon if you got Prime. I got Prime. It came in two days. Heck yeah. Every single box came in all messed up. Don't know why, but they all look half crushed. Oh well, as long as the shoes aren't crushed. Are you ready? Number one, drum roll please. <laughs> Adidas. These are the Adidas Edge Bounce running shoes. Right here, right now, I'm gonna say I prefer running shoes. When I'm looking for sneakers, which is rarely, but when I do, I prefer them to be running shoes because they're sleeker, they have great support, and even though your girl, she don't run, <laughs> like at all, that just means it's just extra special in all other areas of fitness, of what, whatever you do. So, usually running shoes you can pretty much do anything in. So these babies, I picked, they have so many different colors, but of course your girl, she had to pick that like cream, tan, khaki, and white color, neutral. When I pick out shoes, I really do try to keep them neutral so they'll go with pretty much any set that I wear. So I had to get these ones. I sized down because Adidas, I noticed, they run a little bit big and I don't know why. Does anybody else feel that way? Like Adidas specifically. It's not really true to size, but. So I'm usually a size US six, and I got these in a five and a half, all right? I just went a half a size down, and they fit pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. These babies, I paid $109 for them, and I was expecting like some real good stuff going on. These are just normal lace-up sneakers. The thing is, is for $109, and they vary, okay, depending on color and stuff and size, believe it or not, like what the heck, it's not my fault. They aren't as comfortable as I anticipated, especially for the price, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Adidas, come on now. They are a little bit breathable. You do have that mesh top right here, which I have, girl, I've been loving that, man. Many sneakers are coming out with that completely breathable mesh top. Awesome for summer bad for winter. <laughs> you gonna freeze your tootsies off. I do prefer my sneakers to be breathable because I don't know about you, but I, my feet sweat so bad. My butt, my armpits too. Like I, I don't even sweat that much, but a lot of sweat come out of my feet and my armpits only. Very weird. They just, to me, are not the ultra comfort I was looking for. I like to slip my foot into something and feel, I like it to feel like I'm wearing virtually nothing. I like it to feel like I'm kind of walking on a cloud, but yet it's supportive. These were kind of just very plasticky feeling in a way. They, for $109, mm, they got a really nice grip bottom here. I'm sure they hold up well for running, but they just didn't feel like they hugged my foot right. And this is a strong statement coming from me because Adidas, you know, recently have been my 
favorite. Like, I've, I've been really going for them lately, and yeah, man, it's just, they're just not, they're not horrible, all right? A lot of people might actually really like this sneaker, but for me, they're a little, little kind of hard. Like the bottoms, everything's kind of on the hard side. I believe it's the like actual sole here inside is the roughness. That's where a lot of the roughness is coming in. And even with a pair of socks, I wear really thin socks. They kind of, they feel a little like scratchy. But if you wear thicker socks, maybe it'll be better. But other than that, they are really adorable, sleek looking sneakers, very cute. You got the logo on the side and on the little tongue here, whatever that's called, that the tongue. So aesthetically gorgeous, just a little too stiff on the sides and the bottom for me. But you know your girl, I said, picky. Okay guys, so because it's summertime, my feet sweat a lot. I actually picked up a pair of Adidas sandals. These I sized down an entire whole size five, but that's typically what I am in sandals. My feet are just smaller in sandals. I need more room in sneakers. Guys, these are actually called the 90s sandal, okay? So yeah, they're going 90s looking. How about it, you? I'm all about the retro. These were only 25 freaking dollars. They are so amazing. I love them. They are Velcro and girl, at first I was like, I don't know if this Velcro is gonna hold up when I walk. It held up, it held up really well. It, it has an adjustable backing. I really love a sandal that's all around supportive around the back of my ankle because I, I noticed that with a lot of regular shoes, like sandals that you slip your foot in, I notice I'm using my calf muscles a lot to like make sure they don't fall off my foot. But these babies, they ain't going anywhere. So these are definitely keepers. I'm keeping these. You have the interesting like Adidas three stripe all around the front. How freaking cute is that? And then you have the Adidas written out on the back. It's got like a plasticky foamy base to it, but yet it's still grippy. So I feel like you can wear these next to a pool and you're not gonna slide around. You know what I'm talking about, girl? When you buy those really cheap sandals and you feel like you're about to slip and break your, you know? I think they're kind of cute. What do you think? What do you think about these? They're different. I don't want a single thing like this. But you know, I'm growing up. And what I absolutely love about these sandals, guys, is that there's a molding in it. Like, it's a mold meant for your foot. So you got those like subtle areas that kind of sink in and it fits my freaking foot perfectly. They're very comfortable and very secure. Everything I want in a sandal. And let's not forget, aesthetically, they pretty cute and neutral colors. So you got like that tan, a little bit of that like khaki color here, the creams, that kind of neutral. So you can wear anything and it'll go with it. Absolutely, you're a keeper, $25. We might as well stop the video right now. <laughs> are you ready for this, girl? These are the Nike Air Max Motion 2. Oh my God, I know I just got done saying that I like neutrals and everything, but I don't know if I have to explain myself on this one. This is so sleek. I like these kinds of shoes that are just so sporty and they just look like they're meant for quick movements. Like you're serious. I would do HIIT workouts. If I actually did HIIT workouts, they'd be done in this. A lot of jumping exercises. You have the really nice support in these babies and it's pretty much mostly mesh on the top here. So you're gonna breathe really nicely. Nike Air Maxes are one of their most popular uh, shoes and I've never owned one before. So putting these babies on, I could feel it right away. Like how those Adidas didn't give me that like feeling like I'm wearing next to nothing feel, these did. These made it feel so natural. Like I felt so natural in these, but yet so supported. So these I would definitely recommend. These are, I'm keeping them, I'm keeping them. I don't care if I gotta find stuff to match it. I'm gonna make it happen. It kind of matches me right now. I'd wear it right here, right now with this. Gotta love that kind of cotton candy-ish look. Okay, you got this like hot neon pinky coral color. You got a baby sky blue. And then you got that nice white breakup and the sleek black Nike logo that just pops out at you. On the other side, on the inside of the Nike though, they mix it up and put a smaller logo. 
made of the blue mesh. It's like it's popping through. So I really like how intricate and different they made this. They really made it like as if it was just a really thought through kind of sneaker. I even like the design on the bottom here, how they broke up this. See what I mean? Like they thought every detail of the shoe out. Half white, bottom like third half neon pink. And let's not forget, they are Air Max, so they're meant to be pretty much jumped in and moved around in. You can actually see that little plastic part where you can see the shocks through it. So this heel right here is meant to absorb that shock. They nailed this and it fits absolutely perfect. Size six, true to size. This was $123, so the most expensive out of the bunch that I bought, but it's 1000% worth it. In my opinion, yes. This is quality, worth the price. I didn't even second guess it. All right, girl, so about to go back in time a little bit. Bring it back, Fila, some 90s vibes. I've been into that retro lately, kind of reliving my childhood. This is what my mom used to wear, something similar. Whoa. So these are like the chunky, like bulky, the, you know, the typical 90s mom sneakers. <laughs> I've been actually seeing them all over lately. Everyone's bringing them back. I figured, why not try them out? I've never ever tried this brand in my life. So right off the bat, ordered my true size six. It felt a bit stiff <laughs> because it's made out of leather. There's no innovative, like breathable mesh on this baby, but you do have those classic holes, like the breathable little holes, remember when you were a kid? Like that's all you got, no mesh. That wasn't a thing back then. Well, this is pretty much the same way, lace up. It's very stocky, this shoe. So when you wear it, for me anyway, it feels bulky, which is, you know, how I expected it to feel. However, if you see the tips of these sneakers go super narrow, me naturally, don't know why, but your girl's got a pretty wide foot. Sometimes I even go for like the wide sizes and they fit perfectly. Because it goes so narrow, my toes are slightly crushed, all right? If you have a real nice dainty like foot and your toes just kinda naturally narrow at the top, yeah, but no they kind of crush in me a little bit. I'm thinking about sizing up in these, but I'm not sure. Because other than that, I really do love this look. These are just everyday sneakers. Like you could pretty much do a variety of things, even just out and about. I was thinking, hanging out with family. I'm just thinking summertime, they're really nice white. You only got like the navy blue and the red popping through, but nice white shoes that'll go with anything. They're just really super cute and you can match it with anything. And these babies do have a really nice like arch in them. So if you're like me, they don't lay flat and I feel like you could walk in these for a good amount of time and you're not gonna hurt in that aspect, okay? And if you're a little bit of a shorty, okay? And you're trying to grow a couple inches. Yeah. What I really love about these sneakers is that it is nothing but a grip central on the bottom. They're like little spikes coming through. So you don't, you will, you will not go anywhere in this. This is like, if this sneaker was a car, it would be all wheel drive, baby. You will not slip and slide straight up. And they were only $65. So, yeah, I would say they're worth it if they just didn't crush my toes. And like I said, these are super trending right now. So I think I'm gonna size up half the size or maybe a full size. But other than that, I love them. They're like a nice staple piece to have in your wardrobe. All right guys, so that was it. That was my Amazon sneaker haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Man, oh man, we got some hits up in this bunch and I am pretty uh, pretty excited about that. You won't be seeing those new kicks on the gram. Comment down below which was your favorite and let me know if you tried, have tried any of these or are planning on it and let's chit chat it up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.